Hi, Erica Moser here. I'm a reporter here at The Day, and uh, I've been doing some census reporting. I'm a big data nerd, so I was very excited when I got home from work last night, uh, fairly late after my usual late Thursday shift plus coronavirus coverage, and I saw that I had this form from the Census Bureau. This is actually the very first year that you can do the decennial census online. And that is especially critical now as the Census Bureau is really pushing and encouraging people to fill out the form either online, via mail, or on the phone, especially with the coronavirus. If they can avoid having census workers go out to people's houses, that's probably for the best. Uh, so we're going to see how this goes, filling it out online. Uh, just a reminder that the census is completely confidential. Any of the information that you put uh, is, is not going to be, your, your personal information is not going to be released. So in case you're curious about how the decennial census shapes your future, we have a lot of good coverage of that on the day's website. So I'll show you here. Uh, that is, if you go to the day and go under menu on the left, and then if you go under special reports under that tab, then we have a bunch of special reports, including for the coronavirus. And under that, it says census 2020. And if you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different articles we write about how the census is important for determining things like SNAP benefits, Section 8 housing, funding for roads and bridges, and also Connecticut is considered a donor state, I believe the worst in the country or one of the worst in the sense that we pay more in federal taxes than we get back from the federal government. So filling out the census can help improve that in terms of the money that we get back from the federal government for Connecticut. And let's get started with this form here, see what it says. And it does not have my name on it, so I don't know if they just don't know who I am, but it just says resident and then my address. Okay. This is your invitation to respond to the 2020 census. We need your help to count everyone in the United States by providing basic information about all adults, children, and babies living or staying at this address. Results from the 2020 census will be used to direct billions of dollars in federal funds to local communities for schools, roads, and other public services, help your community prepare to meet transportation and emergency readiness needs, determine the number of seats each state has in the U.S. House of Representatives, and your political representation at all levels of government. The Census Bureau is using the internet to securely collect your information. Responding online helps us conserve natural resources, save taxpayer money, and process data more efficiently. If you are unable to complete your 2020 census questionnaire online, we will send you a paper questionnaire in a few weeks for you to complete and mail back. The census is so important that your response is required by law and your answers are kept completely confidential. If you do not respond, we will need to send a Census Bureau interviewer to your home to collect your answers in person. Okay, so let's go to the census website here, my2020census.gov. All right, start questionnaire. So I'll put in the 12 digit code that I got. Okay, so this, uh, the first thing is that because I put in this code, it knows where I live. Um, so it brings up my address in Westerly. Are you completing the 2020 census questionnaire for the address below? I'll hit yes. On April 1st, 2020, will you be living or staying at this address? Yes. No plans to move in the next two weeks. What is your name and telephone number? E-R-I-C-A, middle name Faith, last name Moser, and I'll put in my telephone number. Next, you'll be asked some questions about your household. Press start to begin. Including yourself, how many people will be living or staying there on April 1st? Just myself. Okay. On April 1st, 2020, will the house, apartment, or mobile home be, and then the options, owned by you or someone else in this household with a mortgage or loan, owned by you or someone in the household free and clear without a mortgage or loan, rented or occupied without payment of rent? So I am renting, so I will put that. Okay, so I've answered the household questions. Oh, so I, st okay, now I have to answer questions about myself. I am female, I was born on May, not of Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin. 
I am white. Oh, I forgot to put in my origin. I'm pretty German, so I've been told. You are almost finished and are now ready to send your responses. Once your questionnaire is submitted, you will not be able to access your information or change any of your responses. Ah, that's very final. After you submit your responses and are shown the confirmation page, you may close the web browser. You may select Submit to complete your questionnaire. All right, how exciting. Already done. So easy. So yes, that was my experience filling out the 2020 census. So if you haven't gotten this form in the mail, you'll probably be getting one soon. Very quick to fill out and again, uh, saves the work of sending people to your house.